Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Tay's not with me. She's upstairs doing her crafts. And I'm going to be doing some um, steampunk. Um, can't peel when your friend goes steampunk. This is probably going to be funny to me because their stuff so specific. And I was super obsessed with steampunk for a while. Like I made a steampunk proton pack, a steampunk flash drive, all that jazz. So let's hop into it. <sighs> For the music. <laughs> oh no. Oh. There you are, Cedric. What's up, dude? Tis well, Cedric, tis well. Yeah, can I ask you a question, man? Oh. Um, why the hell are you dressed like this? And what the hell did you do to your bike? <laughs> you ain't heard? I'm steampunk now. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. Jules Verne. <laughs> I seriously think that you have cracked, man. All right? Like, like in your mind. Nah, I ain't cracked up. I live in a clock now. <laughs> ah, umbrellas and blimps. <laughs> you're wearing a top hat with a door on it. Hey, if it's not taken to the stream, you guys gotta admit that Steampunk is cool. Or am I just a dork? There's cool aspects to it. I'm just an ill ass lemony snicket up in this bitch. But you, <laughs> what's with you? What's with me? I'll tell you what I'm I'm an ill ass normal mother. Who been waiting for his friend for an hour and ten minutes underneath a goddamn bridge with two homeless? <laughs> good, sounds good, sir. Could you point me in the direction of the nearest apothecary? If you're talking about the drugstore, it's right there on the corner. What time does it close? It closes at ten o'clock, man. You've been there a million times. Mm. I'll check just to be sure. Make sure it's still open. I'm telling you, Levi, if you put that piece of pipe up to your eye and use it as a telescope, I cannot be your friend anymore. <laughs> Still open. All right, I have to go then. <laughs> you try it. No, oh, no. God, I'm not going to try it because it's a piece of pipe and it doesn't have any lenses in it. <laughs> Therefore, it's not a telescope. I think this can this can be laid over anything that's taken to the extreme. Just always like a category of somebody of something that gets taken to the extreme. Like anytime there's something like there's a culture, there's a sub subculture. It's always like I guess like I don't know, people who get extra weird get involved. That's what this this is great. Yes, but how could you be sure? Science. <laughs> I'm gonna look through this piece of pipe, and if it doesn't work like a telescope, then we finally done, man. Like not homies anymore. We're done. Oh, Cedric, why would you think in a million years that that would actually work? <laughs> You look so ridiculous right now. I look. <laughs> <sighs> Say goodbye, Ratatouille. What? What the f is that? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> How to classify like their brand of humor, man? I don't know. It's real. It's so specific. I don't know, man. But Jesus Christ, man! It's so like. I don't know. Cause the show. I don't think the show is around here. I'm pretty. Sure, I think the story, show that was canceled. Um, I mean, the clips are still coming out so new. So maybe they're just doing like a refresh or whatever. But yeah, man. Their stuff so specific. That's why it's funny. Like, I know some of the stuff can be misses. Like, there's, like, I don't know. I think some of the stuff will be, like, a miss if you don't really... You don't know anybody who's like that or nobody... Like, I guess it's with any comedy. Um, I don't know. It's kind of... I know I'm stuttering, but I can't really... I can't... It's their, their comedy's really unique to me. I don't know. I really can't put my face... I can't really connect them with anybody else. Um, kind of like um, Mitch Hedberg. 
or um, what's his name? Or Norm Macdonald. Now you guys gonna kill me if you put him up there with like the, the what we consider the greats. But it's like they just have the comedy. I really can't like. It's super unique. Some people you can compare it to each other, but their stuff is just so unique to me. And it's still, I enjoy it. It's none of their stuff ever makes me like. None, none of their stuff kills me like Norm Macdonald stuff. Just man, just my chest is hurting after laughing at that guy's stuff or um, or something like like. I guess I can name some of the newer people. Like, Al Murray's hilarious to me, man. Like, he kills me. Patrice O'Neill kills me. Louis C.K. kills me. Um, just makes, like, after I'm, like, laughing from their stuff is like a physical activity. So, um, like, you just, you freaking, like, it's like you just exercise. This doesn't really do that for me, but it's still, I still enjoy it. I still laugh at it. Um, I laugh, I get a good laugh out of it. It's still a nice, nice hearty laugh that I enjoy. But, yeah, I don't want to ramble too much. I, I just can't really i don't know pin them to like if you guys think somebody they're similar to let me know or we'll put some recommendations below of somebody who's similar to their comic style their comedic style i don't know who's similar to them but yeah i enjoyed this this was funny i enjoy steampunk too it's um i'm not crazy though but i do enjoy the aesthetic of it but yeah all right guys thanks for watching hopefully today's in the next one and i'll see you guys in the next one stay happy safe and healthy later